All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, and you know those are great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. And I want to start at the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15, it reads, If you love me, keep my commandments. Mind you, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So let's read verse 15 again. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Yahweh Shai is not speaking to everyone. See, he knew that the world could not receive this truth. Two-thirds of Israel wouldn't be able to receive this truth. So two-thirds of our people... You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans of Negro and Indian descent. If you can't receive the spirit of truth, what makes you think a heathen can receive the spirit of truth? You see, because this is about the elect. This is about the Israel of the Most High. So let's read that again. It's the book of John, chapter 14, verse 16. And I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. All right. We know this truth is the word. All right. Let's go to the book of. Um, oh, <laughs> it's actually the book of John. The book of John 17 verse 17 and reads, it says, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth okay and this is how we are sanctified this is how we are cleansed through the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai right so when we speak about the true baptism well it comes from the word which the word you know is another a water um you know is a representation of this word okay the the living waters all right that's what uh, Yahweh Shai said, if you drink of me, you shall never, never first, roughly paraphrasing. All right. So let's continue on. Let's go, let's go to uh, it's the book of John, chapter 17, verse 9. It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Right. Who is Yahweh Shai speaking to? Let's start at verse 1. These words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that the son also may glorify thee. And as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as though thou hast given him. And this is a, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee the only true power, and Yahweh Shah Mashiach, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest to me, because Yahweh Shah was to do at the will of his father. Right. That's why it says I'm about my father's business. You know, I'm doing the will of him that sent me. And now, O father, glorify thou me with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was from the beginning. Right. Yahweh was from the beginning. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. You see, this is a separation. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came from thee, and they believed that thou didst send me. Talking to who? Talking about the disciples. Yahweh Shai clearly makes a statement to say, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them that which thou hast given me, for they are thine. And all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep, keep through thy own name those who thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, 
and none of them is lost but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I, thee, I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the, word, and the world have hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So it's the same thing with today, right? The ones that is sanctified in Yahweh Hashem Shai. The ones who have given them, given them this word, the spirit of truth, whom the world couldn't receive. Well, the world hates us, right? The world hates us because we have the hidden riches. We have the mysteries, the secrets, all right? Things we can, uh, you know, expound upon, things we can see, things we can speak of, right? That's not of ourselves. People around us know there's something different, that there's a glow, that there's a light shining about us, that we have changed. They notice things. They might not want to accept it or fully understand it, but they know there's something different. But they hate us because we're not of the world. They think it's strange that we run not with them. We don't follow the multitude to do evil. We see we have we have been sanctified. We have actually separated ourselves. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shemiah was shy. Verse 15, I pray that, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou, but that thou shouldest keep them from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. And for their sake, sakes i sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth neither pray i for these alone uh oh but for them also which shall believe on me through their word this is this is a specific group of people right so this goes down to the believers the true believers in all truth Faith and sincerity to believe on the names of Yahweh Shem Roshah, to believe this truth wholeheartedly, believe the things that's coming out of these scriptures. Right? We're not talking about this, this false Christian, uh, colonial Christianity doctrine or plantation uh, Christianity doctrine or any type of madness that someone's spewing out of their mouth. No, we're talking about the truth. Right? We're talking about the whole truth. The whole world, everything that's in it, judgment, prophecy, right? The law, statutes, and commandments. You see? The whole truth. You see, Yahweh Shai prayed for the elect. Pray, pray for the disciples. Pray for the believers. Okay? But for the rest of the world, it's a whole nother story, you know? See, you, you people, you claim that, you know, you have this, this, this covering, so to speak, right? We'll see, you know, in a sense, the covering of the blood of Yahweh Shai is only for the Israelites, but the elect of Israel on this side. But see, the mercy that the Heavenly Father does have is that all Israel, you're going to be in a kingdom. But on this side, you're not covered. You're not covered. But through the mercy, you know, through the mercy that the Lord has has on us, okay? The, 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 the oath that he made to our forefather, Abraham, right? We're going to be good in the kingdom. As the scripture says, all Israel shall be saved, you know? So let's get this, you know, going back to the, the point of, you know, this, you know, the world cannot receive this truth, man. And first and foremost, we're talking about the world of Israel, right? Because we're a world within a world. There's many worlds, right? You got the sea world. You got the sports world. You got the comedy world. Different worlds. All right? So the book of Romans 11, verse 7, it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. What is Israel seeking for? The truth. They're looking for the truth. That's why Jake is in everything you can think of. Every religion, every every uh, philosophy, every wind of doctrine, 
you know Jake is so searching for the truth you know but see the Lord has a spiritual block on these people what did David say what did King David say let their table be made a snare <laughs> so people's tables are full of vomit it's a trap into them right the things that set before them it's not for their good You see what then Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election have attained it and the rest were blinded whom the world cannot read the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive. You people were blinded. Right. You were blinded for the truth. And this is in the scriptures. Read verse eight. It says, according as it is written, the most High have given them the spirit of slumber. Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David saith, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they be that they may not see, and bow down their back always. See, this is in the Bible. This is scriptural that people won't get it. Majority of the people won't get it. It's not for them. This is what the Bible is talking about. So you people that's hooting and hollering and, you know, saying this and saying that, Lord, Lord, and Jesus, Jesus, and God, and no. You don't know what you're talking about when you're dealing with the Bible, okay? We know what we're talking about. You see? Not, not, not being, you know, proud about it, but humbly saying we got the truth and there's only a certain you know number of people that's going to be blessed with this truth and actually endure you know actually endure and, 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 and you know keep the word you know until they be martyred until they get beamed up into the chariots you see but see we were still kept because you how shall I pray pray for that you know that we would be protected you know, so I just wanted to touch it out to the spirit. Lord willing, hope it was edifying. Until next time, I want to say shalom.